happy Tuesday! Welcome back to Homeschool with Carly. Today, we are going to create yet another piece of beautiful artwork. And for this artwork, you will need a couple of materials. But first, let's talk about what we're going to make. We are going to make a watercolor painting without using watercolor paints. Um. I can't wait to get started. So let's list our supplies. First, you will need a white plain piece of paper. Next, you will need some sort of plastic. So you can use plastic wrap from your kitchen, a plastic bag that you would get at the supermarket, but you may not have those, or you can use some sort of piece of plastic that's lying around your house, just like I did. This was wrapped around something, and well, I figured I'd use it for a craft, so I saved it. Next, you will need some water-based markers. So, a water-based marker would be a basic Crayola marker, but I don't have those in my house, but I do have highlighters that are water-based. And you will also need a black marker. Now, you're probably wondering, how would you know if your markers are water-based? Well, we are gonna get started and I will explain that to you. So, first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab that piece of plastic, okay? So, you're going to want to either create a design on this plastic with the marker and color it in, or just color and create some sort of funky design and see what you get. So that's what I'm going to do. But first, I wanna talk about how you can find out if your markers are watercolor or water-based. So what you're going to wanna to do is grab a marker. So I'm gonna start with this pink marker, okay? And I'm going to draw on the plastic. So when you draw on the plastic, you can see that I've created water, they start to turn into little bubbles of water. That's how you can tell if this marker is water-based. Now, I'm gonna show you the difference by using a marker that's not water-based and color underneath it so that you can see what I'm talking about. So, this marker, the black marker, is not water-based. You see how it made a perfect smooth line? And on the top, the red started to bubble into little water dots. That is a water-based marker. So, we are going to create some sort of design on the plastic using our markers. Now, like I said before, you could draw like a heart shape and color it in with different colors, or just color a different bunch of colors on the plastic and then see what you get. So, I am going to begin with pink and I will start coloring different shades all over the plastic and see what I get. All right, as you can see, I've colored a bunch of different colors on the plastic. Now, I have created what looks to be like a rainbow, but maybe you created a really cool shape. I'd love to hear what you did. But let's grab that white piece of paper, okay? What you're gonna do is take that white paper, place it in front of you, make sure that you take the side that you colored on, okay? And you're gonna press that down into the paper and press on the plastic, okay? So that the colors transfer onto the paper. So I'm going to take my plastic and place it directly onto the paper and I'm going to start smashing it in. But just to show you, I've placed the plastic over the paper and now I'm going to start pressing that color into the paper and we're gonna see what we get, okay? So this is super cool because it's a way to make a watercolor painting without actually using watercolor paint, okay? So I can't wait to see what we get. And as you can see, there is no more color left on this plastic because it all transferred onto the paper. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna grab that black marker and we're going to outline around the color shape, okay? So this is going to give us a shape. Now, you might have already created a heart shape and it probably looks really cool. 
So in that case, you would just outline the heart in the black marker. So since I have a funky rectangular shape, I'm going to outline it so we can get a better look at what shape I really made. Okay, so I have outlined my shape. And it kind of looks like a state in the United States, right? It looks really cool. Now we're going to add some designs around the outside of this shape, okay? So you're going to just do whatever you want all around the outside of the shape. You could do dots, you could do lines that go all the way around, whatever you choose. finished and I've created my design. How cool! So now I've grabbed some scissors and I'm going to cut this shape out. Alright, I've cut it out and how cool is that shape? Imagine that hanging on the wall and if you want it, you can laminate this now. There are many ways you can laminate. If you don't have a laminating machine, you can grab some tape from your house, like packing tape that you would use to pack up a box and ship off. You would cover this design with plastic and you would have something that's safe forever. And you could even use it as a coaster, a coaster for your cup. So you could place your cup directly on the table without ruining your table. This is cool. I love art. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see all of you on Wednesday. Bye! Bye.